Hi, welcome back. In this lesson, I'm going to talk uh, briefly about outlines, why you want them, and how they're going to make your life oh so much easier. And in the next uh, lesson after this, I'm going to talk to you about math and how you can use it to actually write a book very quickly. But right now, let's talk about outlines. Once you have an outline in place, you're basically just going to write whatever it is that you've outlined. You're going to you're going to write about each part of that that has been outlined. In other words, once that outline is in place, you're not going to be distracted by by going off on some other place. Oh, look at that butterfly. You're going to just stick with the outline. Uh every book I've written and I think I've done 29 books to date. I've used the kind of outline that I'm going to show you because it is so incredibly easy and it makes your life easy. It makes your book go really quickly. So you're going to get a piece of paper or a new document and you're going to just make a list of the major topics for your book. And those are going to be your chapters. Under each of the major topics, you're going to put a, just a quick list of what goes in the chapter so that readers really understand what you're trying to say and you've just created your outline. So I'm just going to give you an example. So let's say I'm writing a book about the organized office and I know my main topics are going to be goals, time tools, desk, files, drawers, cabinets. So those are my seven chapters. In the tools chapter, my subtopics, the things I want to include so readers will understand what to do, are subtopics of containers, file folders, colored tabs, pencils and, pencils and pens, file drawers or boxes, and magic markers. Each one of these subtopics are going to have their own little section within your chapter. Okay, the last thing you have to do is just jot down some notes under each one of those subtopics of the things that you want to remember to add. So like on this container a section, you know, I, I okay, I want to remember to talk about personal and business receipts. I want to remember to talk about, you know, a box or some kind of container for all my electrical cords or my computer, or my extra USB uh, cables, whatever. It's, it's just notes that you jotted down. Okay. Once you have this in place, you are ready to move to the next lesson and learn how really simple math is going to be your new best friend. And I am not kidding. This is a system I've used over and over and it works really well. But first, make sure that you've done the outline, that you've done the main topics, the subtopics, and made, made your notes. Once you've done that, move on to the next lesson.